This is question 82 from the 2016 exam. So in this question, we have a solid cube uh, which rests with one of its edges on the table so that its side is at 30 degrees to uh, the horizontal, side length D. But it doesn't tip over because there is another force, P, acting on the opposite edge horizontally to the right-hand side. We are supposed to decide which of the following four statements uh, will be true. So th the first three say that there's possibly uh, no friction between the cube and the table, with one more L that would be necessary, like this. Second says that there must be a friction force acting to the left here. Uh, the third one, the opposite, that there must be a friction force to the right. And then the fourth is a bit unrelated that uh, B actually has a moment of force of magnitude P cross D around the edge. So let's first look at the th first three statements and decide what the friction force will be. Okay, so what are all the horizontal forces acting on the cube? There is this force P, then there will be a force of gravity, but that's always downwards, always vertical. And now because it has to stay stationary, the whole cube, there also must be some, some sort of force to the left of magnitude P to counteract that force. And the only place where it can act is as friction on the bottom edge. So two is definitely true, and that makes one and three incorrect. But how about statement number four? Okay, so there definitely is a moment that P has around this bottom edge. The cube can rotate around it. But both the direction and the magnitude are wrong. The magnitude would be P times this whole distance here, not just D but the whole distance, that's root 2 times d. The force is actually clockwise, where over the moment, or the torque, is always perpendicular to both the distance and uh, the force. So in this case, it would either point out of the page or into the page. So the only part uh, which is actually correct is that p has a moment. Both the direction and the magnitude are wrong. In any case, 4 is incorrect. Uh, 2 was the only correct statement, which makes b the right option to pick.